Hello and welcome to Ashby TV. I'm your host, Ashby, and this is our show. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I want to thank each and every one of you for always continuing to support the movement. I would not be able to continue to do this show if I did not have your unwavering support. So I thank you. You can follow me across social media everywhere at One Love Ash. All right. Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Hit me up and let me know what's the goodie. All right. Use that hashtag Ash said it. And of course, you can find out all the up-to-date information on yours truly and what we're doing and where we are and where we're going, child. On, of course, ashsaidit.com. Go to ashsaidit.com right now and check out the latest blog features, the latest updates. Everything's on ashsaidit.com. Mark your calendars, April 10th, 2017, 10 p.m. EST. You need to be tuned. So Food Network, okay. You need to be tuned to Food Network. Food. Yes, tune to Food Network. Why? There is a brand new show entitled Help My Yelp. Yes, Help My Yelp is a brand new show where they gather Yelpers from all across the country and they come together to help businesses improve. Monte Carlo is the host of the show. And they went to all the major cities in the U.S. and pulled some of the favorite Yelpers, some of those elite people. And they sent us out on a mission to go to different restaurants. And they did not know that we were Yelpers. And we got full treatment. And we actually basically did a live Yelp review right there and then on camera. We had earpieces. We had mic packs. There was the whole nine yards. It was so much fun. I can't talk too much about the experience, but you'll be able to check it out this April the 10th, 2017, Food Network, 10 p.m., all right? Now, the funny thing about it was Atlanta was on the list, but Atlanta was actually one of the last cities to actually film, and we're like, the first episode? Numero uno? We are the feature episode, so I am very excited about that. They must have really loved some ATL staff. They loved our flavor. So we had a great time. Atlanta is on the list. Atlanta is on the map in the most biggest, ginormous, fullest way possible. So help my Yelp. Y'all tune in. It was a different experience to actually review a restaurant and see the owner face to face. That was a little unnerving, but not something that we could not handle because with me, I take my Yelp reviews very serious. I put up 110% on every review. So if I do have a great experience... I am sure to put that out there that I had a great experience. If I had a less than satisfactory experience, I'm also going to let you know about that too. So I'm honest and I'll just leave it out there like that. I was just honest. I was honest. I was telling them 100%. That's it. If you're not already, follow our Facebook page. That is facebook.com backslash ashbtv. We got Facebook Live videos, features, exclusives. Everything's on it. Just go check out the Facebook page. I think it's about time for a break. Stay tuned to Ashby TV and we will be right back. Getting a ride has never been so easy. Download the Lyft app today for your $50 credit. Use promo code ASHBTV. Lock Elegance specializes in sister locks, brother locks, and interlocks natural hair maintenance systems. Check out lockelegance.webs.com for more details. Hey everybody, my name is Erica Diaz and I am the owner of The Bee Firm PR. I also am the owner of Vintage and More and I'm a new author of a book called Faith It Until You Make It. It's a book full of inspirational quotes that will pick you up throughout your day that are really heartfelt that I've gotten from my mother, my grandmother, my sister, and I'm sharing them with you all. I started my career in the fashion industry as a wardrobe stylist. I called a woman by the name of June Ambrose. I'm pretty sure everybody who's watching the Ashley Show knows who June Ambrose is. But I called her when I was 15 and I told her that I aspire to be just like her. She was an African American woman who was doing what I aspired to do. And I said, you know what, God, this is the career journey that I want to go in. So if you want to learn uh, to be great, you have to reach out to the greats. And June Ambrose 
was the one that I reached out to and I told her that I admire her work ethic, that I aspire to be just like her. I said, if you give me a telephone internship, I said, I will come and work for you for free when I graduate high school. And she was very receptive. She actually gave me a telephone internship and she talked to me and kind of guided me about the fashion industry and things like that. And I continued to pursue my career as a wardrobe stylist, styling Google commercials, Comcast, TiVo commercials, Hogging Dolls, things of that nature. And I'll never forget, I was in my math class, which I dreaded. <laughs> and I uh, got a phone call from June Ambrose and she said, Erica, can you fly to LA? And I was like, oh my God, yes. Mind you, I had never met her. I had a vision board. I don't know if everybody out there has a vision board, but vision boards are very, very imperative. And June Ambrose was on my vision board. Mind you, when we would talk, I never had seen her in person. I had only had, you know, the visuals of her and had been following her work. Instagram wasn't out back then, only uh, MySpace and Google. <laughs> and um, she said, can you fly to LA? And I said, yes. I called my mom immediately, told her. I said, mom, my fairy godmother has called me. I said, June Ambrose, asked me can I fly to LA you know to work with her on a project and uh, when I flew to LA thankfully because my mom just wholeheartedly believed in my career I've never been starstruck but when June Ambrose walked out of the elevator I thought I saw God's cousin I was like oh my god I've arrived thank you Jesus <laughs> and um, then Missy Elliott walked out behind her and lo and behold I was helping work on a music video for one of the top female entertainers of my generation in the world and I was so so grateful for that opportunity and from those opportunities I went on to assist other wardrobe stylists created my own lane started my own business ericadiz.com where I was doing wardrobe styling uh, for movies for commercials right. again for I think it's about time for a break stay tuned to Ashby TV and we will be right America's back. America's favorite dessert just got easier to make at home. Cutie Cakes Gourmet Cupcake Batter. A dozen cupcakes in 20 minutes. Just shake, pour, and bake. Chocolate, red velvet, and key lime. Available now exclusively at Kroger. Want to jumpstart your day with a little motivation? Download the Ash Said It Daily podcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Google Play, or Stitcher. Ash Brown gets you pumped up and ready to conquer the day. Search Ash Said It Daily on any of those platforms and find out why the Netherlands, Germany, and even Japan tune in daily. And my grandmother was the one who wholeheartedly believes in my career, along with my mom, but she was the one who just was my Thelma to Louise. Like we were just really inseparable and ride or die kind of. And um, she and I talked about having a vintage store. We always love thrifting. We love going to estate sales and different things like that. And my grandmother, unfortunately, passed away of liver and lung cancer. And I was devastated. You know, I was depressed and didn't even know I was depressed. I was wearing all black and I wasn't even working at Mac. Like I was not in a good space mentally but i remembered some of the quotes in some of the talks that my grandmother and i used to have and she told me like maybe a month before she passed she said um erica you know keep walking in your purpose let god use you, you said, she said come to god in secret and tell him what you want to do and he'll make it happen for you and i was like grandma you got to get better i said let's let's go to atlanta and see what atlanta has to offer and the night of her funeral, I remember getting on an airplane and I said, God, if you get me to Atlanta safely, I'm going to ride this till the wheels fall off and I'm going to figure it out. I didn't know anybody in Atlanta. I had no friends, no family. Um, I moved to Atlanta with probably $1,500. No car, you know, um, and just on a faith walk honestly I, I can really honestly say I had just stepped out on faith I had two suitcases I had to figure it out I, I didn't bring any of my furniture anything in my cars any of that stuff from California and I came here and I created my own opportunities I was still doing wardrobe styling and I said you know what that's not even enough I want more um, I was always that friend who was able to connect people and uh, you know give them the hookup or be the plug as some people call it and um, my sister Ashley Jernigan she was really excelling in PR and she was uh, working in Montgomery Alabama and one day we were having a conversation and I said sissy that's what I call my sister 
<laughs> I said, Sissy, I was like, um, we need to start our own business. And she was like, okay, so what are we going to do? And I was like, you're already doing PR. I was like, and I've been consulting with people. I said, let's start our own PR firm. And my sister came up with the name. We named it the B firm after our dad, Marlon Brandle. And, um, a weekend conversation, say, uh, excuse me, a weekend conversation led into the B firm. Um, we didn't even have our business license when we first started, so I don't advise people to do that. But when I first started, it was literally just like a conversation with my sister that we just totally took and just wrote it till the wheels fall off. And um, we signed our first client, which then turned into five clients and then turned into 10 clients because of hard work, consistency, prayer, and faith, you know, and determination, uh, sweat, blood, and tears too, you know, and um, a lot of sleepless nights. Entrepreneurship is not something that you take lightly. It's a 24-7 lifestyle. You know, I live, eat, breathe what I do. And when I decided to leave, like, you know, my little cushion of a corporate situation that I did have and really step out on faith and do the B firm, it was no looking back. You know, I've had some top ramen nights. I've had some hotel nights. I've had some catch the bus days, you know, and God still was guiding me and I still have my faith and I still made it happen. A lot of people didn't know that, you know, I was catching the bus sometimes and I was, uh, we didn't have Uber and all that different stuff when I first started my firm. But, you know, a lot of people didn't know the different struggles that I was going through because I still had a smile on my face. I knew how to do my hair. I knew how to dress the part. I knew how to do my makeup, you know, and I, I faked it until I make it. I wasn't a fake it until you make it. I heard a lot of that when I moved to Atlanta, like, girl, you got to fake it till you make it. And I said, no, I'm going to faith it until I make it, you know, and my faith is what has really gotten me to where I'm at, you know, just not giving up. And from those opportunities of not giving up and really believing in myself and investing in myself opened up so many other doors. And I've worked with some of the top fashion and beauty brands, NASCAR drivers, athletes, nonprofits, um, restaurants, by the grace of God, you know, and hard work and just betting on myself, investing in myself. Um, I don't have those bus days right now, you know, and thankfully because of that, you know, and my hard work, I've, I've been able to be in business going on seven years. Um, and with that, I opened up a vintage clothing store in remembrance of my grandmother because that was something that her and I spoke about prior to her passing away. Um, and now I'm a new author of the new book, Faith It Until You Make It, uh, like I said, which is full of inspirational quotes that have inspired me throughout my career journey that has given me hope that I had on my vision board that I wanted to share with the world because I feel like the sky isn't even the limit on the things we can do if we put our mind to it, if we don't give up, if we bet on ourselves. Our best investments are going to be ourselves. You know, my goals now are just to, you know, love myself stronger, harder, um, you know, work smarter, not harder, and, and just continue to be fearless and never give up. I just want everybody to be inspired. Know that you can do whatever it is that you put your mind to. Like I said, the sky isn't even the limit on the things that you can do if you put your mind to it. I am a walking, talking testimony of faith, perseverance, and hard work and just never giving up. Do not let your past dictate your future. You know, whatever it is that you want to do in life, you can do it. Start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Just start somewhere and never give up. I hope that you guys were inspired and motivated and know that I'm here to support you. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Please follow me on social media. Um, the B Firm PR, it's T-H-E, B as in boy, F-I-R-M-P-R is my PR firm. Um, Erica Diaz, E R I C A 10 Diaz, D I A S 1010 is my personal Instagram. And then Vintage and More 101 is my vintage clothing store. You can buy my book, Faith It Until You Make It, on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, my website, uh, which is also Erica's Table of 20. You guys have to go to that site. I have a monthly luncheon that I do every month that's pretty dope.
guys should check that out but um yeah just follow me i hope to continue to inspire uplift and anything i can do to help anybody tuning in please feel free to contact me on any of my online platforms be encouraged and god bless Welcome back to Ash B TV. I'm your host, Ash B, and this segment is your enlightenment, darling. Your enlightenment segment, and we're gonna kind of morph it in with Ask Ash. I got a question off of the Facebook group. So my question is from Chelsea. Chelsea is from the A Town. Shout out to Chelsea. Chelsea wants to know why I started my natural journey. Well, thank you, Chelsea, for tuning into the show. Appreciate that. Woo woo. And to answer your question, I started my natural hair journey. Um, why did I start my natural hair journey? Honestly, I was just being lazy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's just that was part of it. Part of it was my parents was like, look, we can't afford all what you try to do with yourself. We're gonna need you to figure out life soon. Hmm. Hmm. My hair is very, in, in nature, my hair is very coarse, it's very coily, it's very much a tight curl. And it just would never do right when I had a perm. My hair, if I needed that six week mark, I had to be, it had to be right there in that six week period. If I let a week or so pass, it was going to be some issues in that, in that chair, it was going to be some major problems in that 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 seat <laughs> and when I say seat I'm talking about at my beautician shout out to Shannon Shannon Davis yeah that was my beautician so I had to really just be on point with getting my relaxers at that certain time if I did not get my relaxer on that at a certain time it was it was all kind of craziness so I said you know what I'm tired of going through all of that I'm tired of dealing with all the other crazy stuff a lot of people have talked about their natural journey, how they had this big epiphany and how all these wonderful things happened and how they just came to the realization that they should be natural and they shouldn't be putting chemicals on their body and things of that nature. It didn't really happen for me like that. It was more or less trying to find a way to manage my hair on a regular basis. That's really what it came down to. The big chop was the easiest part for me because all I had to do was just sit there and let my beautician just cut off my hair. I was like, okay, I can do this. I can rock this out. Yeah, yeah. And that was so easy when I was in that phase. It was super, super easy. Literally just wash and go. I never knew how heavy my hair was until I had no hair. And I literally had, it wasn't a fade. It was like a, like a little fro. It was like a 70s fro. Yeah, so... <laughs> exactly why I cut my hair. This is this is it. This is the this is the, the tail of, of of everything. This is the end of it. And little did I know it was only the beginning. It was only the beginning of the journey because as my hair started to grow, the natural texture started to come in and be it that I was not familiar with dealing with my natural texture and styling it it became quite the struggle, quite the painful struggle, because as my hair got longer, I had to find more and more ways of managing it. And I had to find more and more ways of trying to style it and have it look halfway decent. And I just did so much to it. I stayed in braids a lot of times, so I did braids a lot. But for me, starting the natural journey was really about convenience. <laughs> and it has been an amazing journey. I've been natural since 2004. So wow, 13 years in. It's crazy, 13 years in. And I love it. Right now I have sister locks in. So you can see my, you can see my locks, darling. My beautiful sister locks. Shout out to Angela Gillum. She helps maintain them. I love, I love my sister locks. I love my locks. They're so lovely. They're just lovely. I love them. I love my sister locks to pieces. I think that for everyone, it's a different story. For everyone, they're going to have a different reason. There may be some other things in between that you figure out what is best for you. What's best for me is not necessarily best for everyone. I know what I can deal with, and I know what I am putting up with, and I know what makes my life a whole lot easier. And that's just really it for me. So that's why I went natural. I went natural out of convenience. <laughs> 
out of convenience. I would not want to do anything else. I, I, I love this hair. I absolutely love it. And I've gone through so many stages, but I think we'll save that for another video. We'll talk about the other stages and phases that Ash has been through. Before really sticking with sister locks, I, I had done everything to this hair. I've fried it, I've dyed it, I've tied it to the side. I have done everything to this hair. And it's just been amazing. It's been an amazing journey. The last 13 years has been crazy because I've learned so much more about myself. I've learned so much more about this hair. And look, it's on my shoulders now. Look at my gosh, it's just so long. It's just so long. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, locks, I love them. I keep them up. I do what I do. And y'all, I keep on supporting yo, boo. Yeah, we do. So, Realistically, <coughs> well, it's every, 
every actor has a different approach, I guess, but I, I have to figure out psychologically where she is, you know, acting 101, what her obstacles are, what it is she wants, what gets, so once you know, you know, what she wants, what the obstacles are, depending on who is getting in the way of what I want, or who is helping me get, you know, all of that, and it's, it is, you know, it's really funny because, you know, there was Tennessee Williams and now there's Erica and Craig Wright. You know, but it, it, we, we, because it's complex, it's written. The poetry is written into it. The complexity is there. And so we have it, the roadmap, and now we have to just figure out how to make our way with the truth and the spirit of the character. So I'm always looking for the truth. If I feel that I am not telling the truth, it's really hard for me to put it out there. And I just will ask for another ticket. Keep digging, keep digging, because that's where the healing is. That's where what we're doing can help to heal families. You know, presenting the truth of how a brother and a sister, and how we can end up where we are with so much and still so many problems. And the truth of it, you know, I think can bring healing. the show for us this week Ashby TV I hope that it was filling to you I hope that you got some some good positive energy and positive vibes thank you for supporting Ashby TV I love you guys to pieces if you want more information on me if you've got questions comments concerns go of course to ashsetit.com shoot me an email let me know what you think what you think I should feature what I haven't featured yet what I should improve on what I should include and what maybe I should take away. Always remember, no matter what, keep pushing forward. Anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them in the face and say, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. Because that's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. The takeover is real. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. I'll see you guys next week.